This tutorial will help you to give a quick overview of the mini tab to help you how to get started. The first option under the mini tab is for presets that will give the various redefined designs of the menu. Here are the various designs and you can choose any one. Next is your menu positions. Either you have no menu in your layout or menu can be placed below header or inside header or above header. Next is the background option. From here you can set the background for your menu. And I'm setting this one. Apart from colors, you can set gradients also and images can also be set as background of your menu. Next is the layout option. From here you can set the height of the menu either through the drop down or you can set to the more option. Next is the border option. You can set the border of the menu from here and here are the various styling options like style can be dotted, dashed or solid. Thickness of the border can be set, radius and color for the border. Similar the margin option. Menu can be given the margin from top, bottom, left and right. And this is the option to set the width of the menu. Either you can set to full width equal to page width or you can set any custom width from here. Next option is the textures option. From here you can apply any textures to the menu. And to the more option you have various advanced texture effects also. Next is the effects option. Various effects are present in the gallery that you can use and to modify your effects you have the more option also. Then are the various presets of the shadow and to the more option you can customize these shadows. Next is the logo option. You can apply any logo here from the gallery. Or through the more option you can browse your own logo and you can set any link to this logo on your menu also. To this foreground image option you can add a foreground to your menu and next is your text area. Just like hover and slideshow you can draw a text area to the menu and just double click here to enter your text here. And you can style it accordingly. Next are the various designing options for the text area. Just like you can set the background of the text area from here. I'm setting it to transparent. And effects can also be added to the text area. Texture, effects and shadow. And the border option from here you can add border to the text area and style it accordingly. You can give the style, thickness, radius and color to the border of the text area. Coming to the menu button properties, here are the various options for your menu. Items just like separator you have. Here are the various styling options for the separator. You can set the style, thickness and color. I am setting this color. And coming to the thickness option, I am setting the thickness to be 1 pixel. Next is your height options. I am setting the menu items height to be 90%. Then the margin option. You can set the margin to the drop down or you can set it to the more option. Here I am setting it manually. You can set the padding also from here.
after your height, margin and padding, you come to alignment. Here I am aligning my menu items at the right. Now coming to icon option, here are the various icons that you can apply with your menu items or you can browse any other icon to the browse option and you can change the color of these icons from here in the normal case, in the hover case and in the active case. This is the arrow option. You can set the border thickness value from here. This is your arrow. And you can set the color of the arrow from here. I'm setting the color of the arrow on hover to be this one. Then coming to the texture options, you can apply textures to the menu items in the normal hover and the active case also. Next is the background option for the menu items. This is the background in the normal case. From here you can choose the background for your menu items in the normal case. Next is your hover case. This is the background of your menu items on hover of a mouse. Then come to the active case. This is the option where you can choose the background color in the active case. Then the border options similarly in the normal hover and the active case. And similarly the typography options for the normal hover and the active. Next are the given option. So you want to open your sub menu on a mouse click. You select this option. The sub menu will open on a click of mouse. Or you can select over option. Next is your mega. The sub menu layout can be set to mega, vertical, or horizontal. This is your mega layout. Then you have vertical. Next, you have horizontal layout. Next is your styling of the sub menu container, and this is your sub menu container without designing. And now we are going to start the designing of this container. First option is the background option. Just choose the background color from here. And after the background, we have the border options. Coming to border, you can do the styling on the border from here. You can set the thickness. It is one pixel and the radius of the sub menu container you can select from here and the color for the border of the sub menu container. Just go to more. Use the dropper to select the color from any location. And after the background and border, you have the shadow option. Go to the shadow option. Here are the various presets of the shadow and go to more for the customization of the shadow. Use the color for your shadow from here and the shadow type on the presets and OK. And this is your sub menu container after the designing. Here is the shadow and the border and the background is applied to the sub menu container. This is the designing options of your sub menu items. From here you can set the height of your sub menu items. Next right is the width. 
Then coming to the background option, you can set the background of the submenu items in the normal case. Then the background option in the over case. Then coming to the border, you can set the color of the border from here. Then the thickness option. Then you have the hover border option also. Similarly, you can set the color and thickness also. Come to the shadow option. After shadow you have four shadow option then the separator between the submenu items. I am here setting the thickness of the separator to be four pixel. After separator, we have margin option. You can set the margin from top, bottom, left and right. I'm setting the margin from left. And also I can set the margin from the right also. Then the padding option from top, bottom, left and right. Coming to the icon, you can apply any icons to the menu items or you can browse your own icon to the browse option and you can set the color of your icons on normal and the whole of this. Come to the typography option you can set the typography in the normal case and also in the over case. Here is the color and I am setting the color. After typography option, we have the arrow option just like we have for the menu items. Similarly, you can set the border thickness value and the color for your sub menu items also. We have just seen the mega layout. We have an extra options in case of mega sub menu headings. Options on the sub menu things are the height. Here I am setting the height of my sub menu headings. Then coming to the background option. You can set the background of the sub menu headings. In the over case, you can just use the dropper to choose the color from any location. After the background option, you have border. Border you can choose for your sub menu headings. You can give the border thickness to the more option. Just deselect this option and give the border thickness 1 from top and bottom and I am keeping it 0 for left and right. After the border option, you have the hover border. Similarly, you can style your hover border. You can give the style, thickness, radius and color. After hover border, you have shadow options. Then hover shadow options. Coming to the separator option, you can set the thickness of the separator between the sub menu headings. I'm setting it to 4 pixels. Then after the separator, there's a margin option you can give to the sub menu headings. And similarly, the padding option. Icons you can browse from the gallery. And then the typography options in the normal case you can set or in the hover case. Here I'm setting in the hover case. This is your submenu layout.
in the mega case and this is your sub menu layout in the vertical view next coming to the bookmark option you can set the bookmark of the menu for the later use just click on the bookmark option and done this is your view in the desktop and next i'm going to the tablet view here's your text area and in the case of tablet i'm going to delete this text area and the text area deleted is saved in the gallery the deleted text area will not be having any effect on the desktop and next is your mobile view this is your logo here i'm going to delete this logo in the case of mobile and similarly i'm going to delete the text area also next is the various options related to the toggle button just like you have the text option here and you have the text menu written over the toggle button and you can have icon here or you can have the mixture of both the text and icon for the time being i'm keeping it as icon only and you have your sub menu open on slide down just click here to see the slide down option then you have the pop-up option this is your pop-up option and next is your slide left this is your slide left option next is all about the designing of your toggle button first option is the background you can set from here in the normal case and in the active case similarly the border in the normal and the active case you can style the border you can set the thickness radius and color according to your choice similarly i can set the border for the toggle button in the active case also after the background and the border option we have the typography option in case any text is written over the toggle button you can style your text to the typography option and next is your line option you can set the stroke color from here and the thickness of the stroke next is your alignment option for the button you can have the left alignment or you can have the center alignment or you can have the right alignment rest all the options are already covered going back to the desktop that's all in the menu tab hope this overview covered enough to help you get started and you can explore your own now and thank you